Hey guys, this is Billy from adultchiller.com and today I have a five minute exercise that's gonna work on finger flexibility in the bow hand. Okay, so we're gonna do it in sort of a roundabout way. When I teach and when I think about the bow grip, I think there's two main areas that we need to focus on. The first area is form and that's, you know, kind of like where do the fingers go? Where does the thumb go? What does that look like? The second area is what should it feel like to use the fingers and the thumb and the bow grip and that's what I want to focus on today. So to, in order to promote finger flexibility what we're going to try to demote today is over squeezing. This happens with all beginners and it also happens with many intermediate level players. We just end up squeezing more and more on the stick and that can you know inhibit certain bow strokes. It just gets in the way in general. So let's put five minutes on the clock. Boom. There we go. Five minutes are on and let's work on it. So what we're going to do is actually get away from the actual correct form for a minute. We're going to do what I call the barbaric grip. I've developed this working with the student and now I use it on all my students. It really helps. So what we've done here, as you can see, I've got one, two, three, and four. Those fingers are kind of hugging the bottom of the frog and then I have the thumb under the fingers. So what we're essentially doing is taking the fingers and the thumb out of the equation altogether. Okay, so you put it on the string, I'll put it on the D string. We're only going to the halfway point, and I'm gonna pull, and since I don't have fingers and thumb, I have to use just my arm. Okay, let's do G string. So, <laughs> you actually get a very rich, resonant, gorgeous sound because we're using, finally, we're using the right muscle group, which is the arm, that's the motor, and we're not getting in our own way with a tight hand, okay? So try that a few times. That's step one. Step two is a variation. It's still barbaric, but I've, I've kind of teased my first finger into more of a plane position, okay? So this is like a semi-civilized bow grip, and we're just gonna do the same thing, but we want to keep for steps one through four, you this the, there's these ri this ridge right here between knuckles one and two, and that's where I'm focusing my arm weight. Okay, I'm kind of front loading it onto these two knuckles, and in between. So here we go. Still very relaxed. The fingers, the thumb. You know, there, you're, it's just kind of a sticky grip on the bow so it doesn't fall out, but it's not squeezing the bow, okay? I kind of think of like maybe like a baseball, like a batter stance, that kind of, that kind of a grip, nice and relaxed, okay? Um, so that should not be a tremendously different feeling than the fully barbaric grip, okay? Now, let's go to step three. So step three, we're going to tease the fingers into basically what approximates a regular plane position and the thumb is still going to stay under the frog. The reason for that is that I think the majority of us when we talk about a tight bow grip it's it's caused by the thumb initially pushing into the stick. That's such a hard habit to break. So for right now we've got regular bow fingers and we've got a thumb that's just going to hang out under the frog. Okay and so now we're going to put it on the uh, D string here and away we go using the arm. So at this point with this grip, I really have to start thinking about allowing the weight of my arm to really sink into that first finger to make sure I have a sticky bow stroke the whole way through, okay? But again, my thumb's not doing very much at all, okay? It's just kind of going along for the ride. So. Now, that's step three. Step four is to resume your normal position for the hand grip. Okay, so go ahead, put the bow on the string, and put your thumb now in your regular plane position. Okay, stop. Has it already started to tighten up more than usual? Yeah? If it has, then you just go ahead and put it right back under the frog again. The goal is to get to a point where if you're just resting the, the bow on the string, the thumb can be in the correct spot, but completely unengaged. 
So I'm not saying it won't engage when you start playing. Yes, it'll, they'll, you know, it's going to flicker into, into action and the thumb will be doing stuff. But what I found was that for myself, if I'd been playing a passage, when I would just rest the bow here, my thumb was already starting to push in. And that's what we got to get away from. Okay, so very relaxed thumb. And then one, two, here we go, right with the arm. Okay, so I'm hoping that feels very different than it used to feel. What, so again, this barbaric grip, you take out the fingers and the thumb, okay, completely. And then we're just gonna go kind of slowly inch our way back to a regular grip, but try to channel that feeling of just having the arm do the work and the arm weight is gonna flow through the fingers into the bow, okay? So it, if you squeeze with the fingers, it basically stops right there. And then you're, you're now basically using from this row of knuckles down, that's what's really transferring into the bow. So it's very inefficient. That's five minutes. Um, so I, I hope that helps. Try it a few times. If you try it and run that whole process and then you get maybe one or two bow strokes and you're like, oh, that feels so good. And then it starts to tighten up. That just means you need to keep trying it. It's kind of like a bicycle. You just keep getting, getting on the bike until you, the balance is established. Your body is going to want to be comfortable. Okay. So eventually a relaxed bow hand will take over because that's what it wants. So try that. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already, and I'll see you next week.